Hello everybody, welcome back to our single player world. Today is, it's been a while actually, it's been a few days longer than we normally do, but uh, today's a very awesome day because we are back in the world and I've kind of been missing this place quite a bit recently and I'll explain that in just a second. But today we are going to be doing two main things. We're going to be, first of all, building our very first built, well, ship in progress. Let's put it that way. We're not building a ship or more of a boat. You know, I've got this habit of calling the ships boats and now the boats ships and quite clearly we do still have this trouble here let's just hope that there aren't any creepers so i'm gonna leave this area nice and lit up while we are working in here but eventually what my plan is is to go ahead light this whole place up properly and once we've got ourselves our, our mob switch or whatever it is that stops mobs eventually uh, we'll be able to actually play around with lighting and have a beautiful Place in the dark and in the light, actually. You know, I say this all the time, but really, we're missing out on half the game. And... Wonderful. Okay, so that's that, that out the way. You can tell I haven't yet copied this over from this side to the other side. But let's go ahead and get started on our very first ship in progress. And I was kind of picturing it this whole time that I've been thinking about it, at least since we started this area. I've always just pictured it to be around this area over here. So let's just go ahead, get started, start clearing this out a little bit. Maybe right over here in front of where the, the doorway, where the, the, sh the boat would probably get its supplies and stuff from. In fact, here, I was thinking of making a really big entrance over there because it just, I can't really work out what I want to do this. It just doesn't work the way I'm thinking. And I think that will mean that it'll, it'll be, it'll have a function, you know, it'll be there for a reason, serve a purpose. So I think we may as well just get started. Obviously, just the general shape, and then we'll we'll go from there. And I'm, I'm planning on just a, not a huge ship or boat. God damn it, I just keep doing the same thing over and over again. Uh, it, it's not a huge boat. I think it'll be good just to do something small, something easy, uh, something that will fit in here and seem like a practical size. Uh, but I may as well, while we do that, explain what has, uh, why, I, why I haven't done a video in a, in a few days. It hasn't been actually that, that many days, but I guess I'll, I'll let you guys know. So, a few streams ago, it's actually kind of a funny story. Um, a few streams ago, I was being really good. You see, I've, I've got this habit of forgetting to drink water while I stream. And I was really good drinking my water. And I just, for some reason, it wasn't even that hot of a day. I, uh, I got one of those, those feelings in your throat. You know when your throat just feels really, really dry? And it kind of, I can only describe it as it feels like it scratches itself. Even though that's not the case, but you, you probably know what I'm talking about. And I got that, and I decided, you know what, I, I'll just keep speaking. I'll just keep streaming like I, I usually do. And for some reason, that was the worst idea. And I, <laughs> I could tell it was just, from the, from the second I did it, I could tell, man, you really should have just shut up there, Jancy. But I didn't. And uh, I could tell, like, my throat was really, really sore. I, uh, I had to step up, walk away from the camera because my, man, I was, I was coughing really, really bad for about a minute, actually. I just walked off camera, got myself together, and when I tried to speak while I was, like, getting myself back to the, the computer, I honestly thought I'd lost my voice there just then and there, like an insta, insta voice loss. But it turns out it came back, but it felt really, really bad. Like, it felt like the best description I could give you of the, the feeling I had, at least, was that I've been punched in the throat. Like, it, that's what it feels like. It wasn't like a scratchy soreness. It was a, a bruised soreness. It's really weird. Uh, but that was that was what happened to me and why why we haven't had uh, a few videos. Because what happened was I, because of that, was a bit scared and my voice was a bit tender for, for a few days. And in fact, it still is, actually. Today, this morning, I was I was hoping to do another live stream. And of course, that that didn't go go according to plan because my my voice was still a bit sore. And... I've got a little bit of a cold to top it all off, so it really hasn't been too lucky, but you know what? It's fine. We're back. We're doing a video right now, and hopefully, I'm pretty sure this one's going to go quite all right. In fact, this this ship or the boat, man, I, I just have to start getting myself in the habit of saying the right thing. Uh, but this boat is is definitely the sort of shape that I'm going for, just luckily, at least. Uh, we haven't had to mess around too, too much with it, but I don't want this to be completely finished, but maybe we can get a bit more of it done. I was picturing more of a skeleton of this boat, but it's all right. It's fine. Let's just do that there. This this is actually probably going to be the one spot that may cause a little bit of an issue is here. Yeah, you see this? This is a little bit too steep here. Well, it's not steep enough, sorry. It's a little bit too shallow. If 
I had to describe it there. So what we need is we need this over here to go up a bit. And I'm picturing the front of it to be right around here. Right over here. So we could maybe just get the... Actually, that's probably a better idea. Let's just do this. Get the tip of the boat done. And then we can have a look at getting the rest of it done here. So that has actually gone... I'm, I'm not going to lie. That's actually gone way easier than I thought of. And by the way, this this boat, in my brain at least, it's a fishing boat. So that's that's the story we're going with. If anyone asks, that's what, what it is. And uh, if you were wondering, that's what it is. A fishing boat. And we've got a lot of stuff we could put on this, but I, I feel like we could probably do this once we've got this shape done. I like to keep things stat like sort of static. So we'll probably put this one out on the, the water. So one similar to this out on the water, as if this is the, the manufactured boat that's that's around, that's used. The standard, I guess you could say. And then we'll we'll just do a few of them, just so it, it seems normal. Okay, that seems kind of square from the bottom. From the top, sorry, but from the bottom. Uh how does it look? Oh, I'm all out of these. Let's just let's just try using these for a little bit. Could just be a lucky little mistake. Uh, there, maybe something like this. Trimming it. Yeah, that that's kind of interesting. A very interesting look to it. Something like that. So it goes down there. We can maybe just do this. This has actually gone very, very well. I was expecting to maybe have cut away by now and, and come up with something, but this is just all falling straight into place. Look at that. It's looking really, really good. Like, I think we can actually go ahead. And let's try to get ourselves the the sail in right now. We've done really, really well. I'm, I'm amazed. This has taken us, I've just looked at the timer. It's been seven minutes we're into this episode already, and I've just got this build done. I know it's not too spectacular. We will do a lot more on it, but that's actually looking very, very good. So please tell me I think I've reorganized these, by the way. I've got these perfect. And maybe I'll just take those, those. And if I have some wool, that is fantastic. The wool might be a bit overkill. So we, we may have to, may have to over, like look at that again, but I think we'll be all right. So step back here. Stepping back is always important. Right over here. Can you tell that that is a boat being made? I can tell it's a boat being made, but I think what I could see is it probably has to be about this long at least, maybe up to here. So this is why stepping back is so important. You maybe just go here, do that a little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit there. Okay, let's just quickly double check this. And of course now, that'll be a good length. We'll take it up like here. And in fact, it's it's not actually too horrible what, what, I've, what I've got here, because what we can do is we can just take this up to here, around about that height, go one, and then we'll go out here again. Like that. And then we'll just pull it around like normal. There. There and... Wonderful. Something like that. Let's go step back. Getting the trim and the boat done. All in one go. Surprising? Yes. There we go. Wonderful. Alright, so that's that done. Now what we can do is we can just go ahead and add some more stuff here. And get the shape just finished. But that's obviously just a few niggly things that I've got to do off camera and also i guess what we could do is maybe make this a bit more interesting than just putting in your standard sort of mask that you'd expect from this so we'll do something like that with these actually which i thought i had there maybe oh i've actually got some on me there there and we'll go up here this is all just fallen straight into plan i'm just very very amazed We'll do some of these. Something like this. Um, hmm. Okay. This this could be a little bit of trouble, but it's right. You guys can kind of see the, the logic behind what I'm trying to achieve here, I guess. Hopefully. There. And one more. Can I can't get that one last one up? Uh but back to by the way, my my whole thing with my voice. Uh, streams and everything should be returning to normal now. I, I can't see this taking me out for too much longer. So anyone who's got that question, that is what is happening. And uh, we'll, we'll be fine. We should be pretty good. I guess um, I'm pretty, pretty comfy actually with my voice right now uh, for the next stream, which will be on not the day that this video comes out, but the next day. 
which is great. And everything should return all the way to normal again. There we go. That is perfect. Look at that. I know that's kind of dark, but you can see the shape. We've got this over here. Just picture this going out a little bit further and up there. We've got this pulling down here. I'm going to pull a little bit of that away. Or maybe not. Maybe we just leave that. And that over there, the mast isn't yet done, so we can maybe just say we're doing that in the water. And I was going to put some of these down, but definitely would be overkill. I think that's working really, really good. So I've got this to do, and then I've got one other project, which is actually actually perfect, because we've almost finished this one. Just got to do this off camera now. And then we can go ahead and get started on what I'm hoping to do here. Uh, which, by the way, I didn't actually say, but outside here, we've got all this area done on the last stream that we had, which I had to cut a little bit short. It was just... Too crazy on my voice. I tried a second stream and it, it yeah, just it, it wasn't going to work. Uh, but I was, of course, I've survived. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to work out a little bit of a hedge design for over here. I'm not 100% sold on this one. Maybe it'll be something similar to this. But I want to give it a go and see if we can come up with something a little bit more interesting. There we have it, guys. It's, it's looking pretty good, I think. It's a very easy shape, very simple thing. And I was just kind of struggling along with it after we after we cut from that last clip. I was just messing around trying to figure out um, what was a good shape for it. And I, I kind of had to stop and say to myself, you know what? You're really not playing with that many blocks. You know, there's there's not too much room to do too much stuff here. And sometimes you just have to give yourself a little bit of a break. Like it's a it's a small build, you know, it's not a huge build. And that's it's important not to get too carried away because I, I find myself getting carried away a lot with these sorts of things putting in a lot of a lot of time and then kind of just resorting in <laughs> resulting in the into the first choice in any case uh, but I think when we do eventually move this sort of design out to the water I think you'll you'll be able to see what I mean I think this definitely will be a really nice looking sh uh, not ship boat man I really have to get this right and I can't get those glitches fixed if I get rid of that no that doesn't help me either all right well that's that's uh that's annoying but so is the game. That is Minecraft. Not Minecraft is annoying, but that so is the game. It just the game does that. That's what I was trying to say. Okay. So that, that's that done there. And by the way, I actually almost forgot. I also added in a little bit of a a thing over here. A little actually maybe I should use one of these. Uh, over here. There we go. Uh, just to look like it's giving us some support. So this is a little crane that I decided to add in because I thought you know it's pretty plain. There's not too much stuff going on on the, the boat, so I thought a little crane could do a good trick there. And as a matter of fact, I don't have any of my enderpearls, but I'm, I'm probably going to change the, that block there out for a, uh, a stair, a normal stair, like a, a stone brick stair block. So that's, I think, looking all right. Let's just quickly step back from the side here, actually. Let's just look at it there. That looks boatly to me. It looks like it could be on the, on the water. And what about from here? Shapes looking good. As a matter of fact, when we do eventually put it on the water, we might just extend this up a little bit. That's that's actually I'm just looking at that now. Let's just do that right now. Before we forget. We we leave it and then we we wonder what we were doing. So something along these lines here. Here, like that. There and There, maybe. I just want this to look a little bit more bulky than what it is. So we do that there. And finally, hopefully this looks good. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely a lot better. The The only problem was just a little bit of this. So you see, it's, it's pretty much the way I end up building. And this is why it's not always easy to build on camera. Actually... I was watching someone, I can't even remember who it was a few months ago, but someone was saying how they, they can never build on camera. And I'm like, you know what? I didn't realize, but I I was subconsciously not realizing I couldn't build on camera either. It's so, so difficult. And today was a bit of an exception, but just in general, I find it's really, really tough to, to get a lot of stuff done on camera. You kind of do little bits and pieces, but you can't do too, too much. So what I want to try here before we go any further is I want to explain what I'm doing here. I... Remember from my very first, uh, my very first survival let's play world, I was messing around with a design for a, a planter box outside my very first house. And to be completely honest, my very first main house, let's put it that way. Uh, but to be completely honest, I thought it actually looked pretty bad by the time it was done that house. But you know, we, we learned, we figured out our way and eventually 
now I think we we can call ourselves a little bit better than what we were. Uh, but I messed around with some of this clay, and hiding the clay block actually doesn't look very bad. It's very flat block, and that's the issue with it. Look at that. Just very, very plain. And doing something like this, just distracting from that plainness, helps a lot. Uh, but what we could also do is maybe just play around with this. I'm not too sure whether it's going to work, but something like that. It creates a bit of color in the world. Is that a bit too large? Yeah, it is. Sadly, that is. That's a, that's a, that's a pity. We really, I'd really love some more vertical blocks in this game, which will be, uh, be awesome one day when we do get some more. Maybe, I mean, it's, it's a commonly requested thing, I guess, the vertical half slabs. That actually, if we do that, we're, we're going to have to be careful about how many of these we go, just so we don't go too over the top. But I kind of don't mind that too much. It breaks it up. Yeah, that could really, really work. Right, that, that is our first option. Our other option, I was thinking of something a bit more interesting. So let's let's go around here. And how many is that? That's two blocks away from there. So we go there, 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 there. And this could really be any stone block here. I, I didn't really necessarily need this to be stone. But uh, let's, let's do this with a bit of birch. I'll show you what the birch looks like. I was thinking birch was going to be our saving block. I mentioned it a few episodes back that birch would be the block because, of course, this area is so vibrant with the, the green grass of the jungle. I thought it was going to be way too vibrant. But to be completely honest, I actually really like this vibrant green. It's got a, a really awesome feeling to it. Like, look at that. That's just dull and boring. Even though it's not really that dull and boring in other other areas, I think it's it just looks a bit too dull and boring for us here. So let's maybe do a little bit of berries on this bush. Like that. See that? Nice little look to it. Breaks it up a little bit. Not everything continuing on the same way. And, and I was actually thinking of adding one of those in as another attempt if these don't work. But something similar to what we've done there with just a little bit of this here. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do like that middle piece. Let's get, let's try this middle piece in here. Because the thing with these, the, the real big important part about this city is when you look at it, it's actually probably my, my most colorful city yet. And it's not that colorful. But just adding in the little pops of color like that there, uh, those won't be. Don't don't listen about. <laughs> don't listen to those. Uh, but that there, the little bit of red, that uh, that brown. It's a very reddish brown. Whereas these ones are more just a solid light brown, light brown. This one's got a very dark red kind of tinge to it, and I like that a lot. I was I was thinking we could get something similar with this, but I don't think we're that lucky. I do like that though. I really do, and that's that's actually my attempt to break this up here a little bit with it. I thought that would be a really, really cool thing to do, but sadly, that won't be the case. In fact, those can stay where they are. Let's just try a doubling up on this here. So we could do maybe those and those. Let's do that there. Yeah, that's, that's a lot better. Uh, that's just a little bit too much. Sadly, because it kind of worked quite well with those leaves. I'm not gonna Not gonna deny that. I thought that worked really really well with those leaves. Uh, that I can keep there I'm, I'm happy to keep that one there because it's a planter box, but it's also a bench And I think the park bench is very important to just think of it as the park bench, you know, a little bit different to to the normal planter box And you know what guys that's actually I think probably gonna be the end of the episode I've got through an episode which is actually very very good. I apologize by the way if I've gone through this episode sounding any more nasally than I normally do. I know I've got a pretty, pretty nasally voice just being Australian in, in general, but I think it's, uh, I think overall we've, we've had a successful episode. We've got two big things done that I've really wanted to do. And by the way, can I just step back and look at that there? That's starting to really pull together. It's really, really exciting. I'm loving to see, I'm loving seeing this little place slowly come together episode by episode, stream by stream. And it's looking looking fantastic. But as I say, I apologize if maybe I sounded a little bit uh, quieter than usual, or not quite a bit, uh, not as not as normal as usual. I, uh, I, as I say, my voice is just a little bit tender right now. We definitely doing all right, but overall, uh, a successful episode, two very great things done, and hopefully we just keep this momentum going and we can do some really really cool things. I'm I'm hoping in the next episode to start a larger build. I was actually hoping to do it in this episode, but sadly. 
uh, we definitely won't be able to do it this episode. Now, of course, it's done, but I, I thought I'd really just get that area there, inside there, finished so we can move, move away from it so it doesn't loom over us for a very, very long time. But thank you very, very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you in the next one.